I'll make a quick video. Um, this video is pretty crazy because I'm talking about one thing only. Brandon Moreno fans. It may be a little bit Brandon Moreno himself. He did not win that last fight. I'm sorry, I know you're not huge fans of Brandon Moreno. And obviously the UFC is too because they want to make the fourth fight. And they're really betting on Brandon Moreno. They really are, right? But he lost that fight against Figgy. And um, I don't know where these fans are where they see how he won. But if you know, realize, if you actually watch the full fight, he had knockdowns with leg kicks and knockdowns with his hands. There's no way in any rules of the UFC, or mixed martial arts in general, do you win a fight getting knocked down that many times. Now, look, I'll admit that maybe Moreno had a little bit more output, possibly, but that's a stretch, too. But I also think he had takedowns as well. There's so much stuff that he had that there's no way you can say that Brandon Moreno won the fight. It was competitive, but he didn't win the fight. So a lot of you fans need to just suck it up and realize that Moreno is not the true champ. Figueredo is. And I want to clear something up as well during the uh, for the fourth fight. Um, why would Figueredo be scared when he fought him three times? He knows what he's going to do. He dominated the last fight. Why would he be scared to fight Brandon Moreno again? I'm very confused. So let's get out of our biasness and realize that Figgy is a true champion. Nice that they made an interim champ, which, again, no one talks about how weird this interim champ thing is. It's not like Figgy was like, oh, I'm not going to fight this dude ever again. But it makes it seem like that whenever they make an interim champ, just like they did Francis Nugano. Why are they doing this out of the blue? Was there an injury that happened where they thought he was going to be out for a whole year? What exactly happened? I don't get it. Dana White's, you know, defense is, well, you got to move on from division, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, okay, but you're really discrediting the champion at the same time. There has to be a better game plan involved in this. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. But uh, Brandon Randall did a really good, uh, had a really good fight against Kai France. Um, it was like a left kick, probably a left liver kick that shut his lights out, his body out, and then he did some ground and pound and knocked him out. That was pretty crazy. Um, so Brandon Romero, congratulations, man, all respect. But let's also put respect on Figgy's name. That's my whole point in this video was put some respect on this dude's name because Figgy actually fought a war with this dude. You know what I mean? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think.